guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing ways that bloggers make money online. So I know that there is this, uh, I guess, thought process or <laughs> people think that blogs are like ancient or that nobody blogs anymore. But the reality is that blogs are more alive than well than they've ever been due to their discoverability aspect and all the other ways that content creators or entrepreneurs can make money online besides social media. Well, I know most of my audience are content creators. You may, you know, spend most of your time on Instagram or TikTok creating content there for the hopes of either monetizing through sharing affiliate links or getting brand partnerships. But in my opinion, I feel like putting all of your eggs in that one social media basket is just not a really good business decision. We all know that as of right now, TikTok is on the chopping block to be banned here in the United States. Now, will it happen? Who knows? As of right now, there are thousands of people who either make like their full-time living or side hustle on TikTok. So could you imagine if like that was the only revenue stream that you had coming in and it was just wiped away overnight. I mean, it would be devastating. So what can you do now to make sure that that doesn't happen to you? Well, for one, you can definitely start a blog. And I know when a lot of people think about blogs, they think about like 2010, you know, you're blogging, you're sharing uh, what you ate for dinner or what you did this weekend, your family vacation pictures, and your main audience is really your family and friends. Well, that is not the type of blogging that I'm talking about. Blogging has really evolved since the early 2000s. Now they are more like a portfolio. They can be like your brand identity. You can market yourself. You can market your business. There are so many possibilities whenever you have a blog and it's a platform that you actually own. So nobody can like just take it away from you. I mean, of course, unless you like don't pay your hosting fees and then, yeah, it's like they'll get you off the internet but you know it's not like you are at the mercy of an algorithm or at the mercy of some CEO that at any point in time can either decrease your reach or a platform that can just disappear the way that I see a blog is really just a website so it's really whatever you want it to be but there are things that you can do to obviously increase your chances of making more money on your blog. So we're gonna talk about those today. One of the top ways that a lot of bloggers make their money online is with affiliate links. So if you are a member of like LTK or Collective Voice or any other affiliate platform, then you might be a little bit more familiar with affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is basically you get a specialized code from a brand or a platform that allows you to share recommendations of products or services across your platforms and if somebody clicks on your designated link and makes a qualifying purchase, then you get a commission. So that's basically what affiliate marketing is. I know that TikTok has made it seem like it's the easiest thing to make $2,000 a day. And for the most of us, it, it's not, you're not going to make $2,000 a day. Okay. Let's just be honest, but there is potential there. There is growth opportunities in affiliate marketing if you do it the right way. So obviously with social media, a lot of the times, whenever you're saying like, like link in bio or you know comment shop and I'll send you the link a lot of people like don't jump at that chance I mean unless you got like a million followers and then you have a higher probability of making more money that way but for us that don't have a ton of followers a lot of the times our audience may not want to leave the social media apps they're not going to make that qualifying purchase and just the conversions are not the best on social media but on blogs they are i have found that the conversion rates on social media are not the best i found that there is a better probability that someone will actually click a link and shop on a blog especially if you gear a blog post towards like a specific thing that this person is searching for. So one of the easiest ways that you can do that on a blog post is obviously by writing about a product review or recommendation. So maybe you tried out a new lipstick or maybe you have like five lipsticks that you're trying out and you write about like how they feel, how they wear, the look, the price, like all of that. And then whenever you're talking about a specific product, you can insert your affiliate links where they seem fit. And then if a reader is actually inclined to buy one of the items based on your review, they're more likely to click your link 
and make a purchase that way. Another way is by doing tutorials or how to's on your blogs, like how to curl your hair with a straightening iron. So you can share the straightener that you're actually using. You can share like the heat protectant that you're gonna be using. You can share maybe like the little silicone mat you use to protect your countertops from the hot tools. Um, I mean, you can use like the oil that you maybe apply afterward. And there are just so many affiliate links that you can share within that one blog post so there's just like so much more probability that you are going to get a sale that way another great way to make money online with affiliate links on your blog would be doing like roundup posts or list posts so you could do like top 10 sunscreens for oily skin and then go ahead and list 10 sunscreens for oily skin and obviously bonus points if it's something that you've actually tried and tested of course people absolutely love top 10 lists i feel like sometimes like you don't know what product to purchase so you rather get like the top 10 recommendations and then just choose from 10 instead of like choosing from like 50 sunscreens you know so those posts really convert really well what you can also do is comparison posts so you have two different sunscreens and you can compare the two um, and obviously you would insert links for both of them but obviously like at the end of your post you would come up with preferred choice um, or you can just kind of like highlight the pros and cons of each one. Another one that's really popular is shop the post links. So if you like to share like your outfits for the past week and have links for each of the items that you are wearing, or like I love to do capsule wardrobe posts. So I will share like 26 items that are included in like a seasonal capsule wardrobe collection and have the links for each of those items i will also put like similar styles as well so so it's giving the reader an option to you know choose between like price points or retailers so obviously like more choices that they have a greater probability that they will convert into an actual purchase Another way that bloggers can make money online is through advertising and you're either a fan of advertising or you're not, but whenever you are a solopreneur, like you are trying to diversify your income, you gotta find the money wherever it is. And if you have a blog that gets a lot of page views, then you're leaving money on the table if you do not sign up with an ad agency. So there are a number of ad agencies that you can choose from. Obviously, some of them are a little harder to get into, but essentially you are making money every time somebody lands on your blog and is looking at it. So another thing to consider is nowadays, just about every single blog or website really out there has ads on their site so your reader is already used to it so if you're thinking about the experience that they have on the page i mean most of the time people just ignore the ads altogether if not there are some ad agencies that you can actually do as many ads as you want or as little ads as you want so the ad agency that i have i used to have a uh, video that would play on the lower right hand corner and as they scroll the video would stay there and it, it it irked me so i went ahead and let the ad agency know like could you take that off because it's annoying and they did and so i still have ads on my site and i personally feel like they are not hindering the overall experience of my reader and at the end of the day i still make an income from the ad revenue that comes from my site Another way bloggers can make money online is with sponsorships and brand partnerships. Believe it or not, I have gotten more sponsorships or brand collaborations through my blog than I have through Instagram. So that is when I decided that I wasn't gonna be putting too much effort on Instagram just because the partnerships or the money is not there for me. I rather focus my attention on my blog and on YouTube. I've gotten uh, major deals from YouTube, which is crazy to me because it's not like I have a ton of followers, but the money is there, so you gotta follow the money. But on my blog, I have gotten brand partnerships where they want me just like write a blog post talking about a certain product that they will send to me so that I can test out and I will put down my honest opinion on that blog post. Of course, they'll give you a promo code that you can also insert on your blog and share on your social channels. And then that way you can make affiliate income that way. Sometimes they will pay like a flat fee just for me to write a post. So I did one with, I was it? Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, when we were talking about party dresses, I think it was party dresses, during like New Year's 
time. And so I basically went onto their site and was able to like just pick out dresses that I feel are great for, or great styles for New Year's and I shared it on there and was paid a flat fee for that post. Another way that you can make money online as a blogger is by selling your products and services. So if you sell a like physical product, you can definitely have like a landing page showing the products that you are selling, the price points, and even have a checkout feature on your blog so they don't have to leave your site and just be able to check out that way. I personally sell services online, so I have my build a wardrobe guide that you can purchase. There is also an upcharge, so if you want to pay a little bit more, you can get on the list to get my monthly lookbooks. So I used to have monthly lookbooks that I shared every single month last year and they were free and this is kind of like a, a lead magnet that I used to get email subscribers and it worked amazingly. Obviously right now I'm juggling a lot and so doing those monthly lookbooks just it, it took a lot of work. So now I am doing it as I paid basically a one-time fee and you can get back on that list. So that's another way that you can make money online. I've seen people sell Lightroom presets. I've seen people sell uh, LTK templates, which I actually do sell LTK templates. I need to do more of those because people really liked those. You can sell like how to guides, um, especially if you're like a travel blogger and you have like this extensive travel guide, uh, you can definitely sell that on your site. People pay really good money to travel agents to kind of come up with like some itinerary for whenever they're planning a trip. So if they can do that for a fraction of the cost for your itinerary or your must places to see in Rome, uh, why not, right? There's just so many things that you can actually sell your services. You're basically selling your knowledge to your readers. So, I mean, don't sleep on selling products and services. That's a really good revenue stream that you can add to whatever you're doing right now. So if you're like a fashion blogger, you can definitely do lookbooks. You can even do one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you wanna take on a couple of clients, you can do it like via Zoom and kind of like help them or guide them to choosing like wardrobe essentials for like whatever lifestyle that they're in. If you are a food blogger, you can definitely sell like some sort of cookbook with your favorite recipes on there. I mean, even if you write about knitting, you can do like your favorite knitting technique techniques and sell a little ebook uh, from your site and make money that way. I mean, there's just so many possibilities when it comes to just making money online that way. Well, there you have it. Those are just some of the ways that bloggers make money online. I'm sure there is a ton of other ways, but those are like the most common revenue streams for bloggers. The most important thing to remember is that you want to create value for your reader. That is what's going to grow your blog to get more readership. And obviously like the more people that come onto your site, the more affiliate revenue that you can get or the more chances of brand partnerships that you can get or the more um, obviously ad revenue that you get. So the main thing is to grow that blog and the only way to do that is by sharing valuable content that is geared towards your reader and really solves problems for your readers. I hope that this was a helpful video for you and kind of gave you some ideas so you can start generating additional revenue streams to your business. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye.